Welcome back to AZ Facts Buzz, where we dissect the latest drama with a side of sass and sarcasm. If you're here for the juiciest scoops and the most eyebrow-raising moments from your favorite reality stars, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss a single moment of the drama. Today's episode is one for the books, as Danielle's quest for love in Ocean City has become the stuff of reality TV legend. Buckle up, because this ride is about to get bumpy. Picture this Danielle fresh off the high of optimism, arrives in Ocean City, ready to dive into the dating scene with all the enthusiasm of a puppy at a dog park. Her friends, equally hopeful. Join her on this romantic adventure. But here's the twist reality has decided to crash their party. And not just crash, but take the entire guest list hostage. What was supposed to be a romantic escapade has quickly turned into a tragic comedy of errors. I mean, ever since Muhammad said those things, talking about the way someone smells or what they do down there, I build the wall up. After days of striking out on dates and having all the luck of a broken mirror, Danielle and her crew decide to hit the waves. Because clearly, when your romantic life is sinking faster than the Titanic, jet skiing is the perfect antidote. They charge through the water, laughing and shouting as if they're auditioning for a role in a water-themed action movie. But let's be real, no amount of sea spray can wash away the bitter taste of rejection. Those things, they stay with you. They stay with you. And it takes a long time oh, to care. get over them. Give me a hug. Come here. Post jet ski, they drag their damp selves back to the beach, where Lexi decides it's time for a heart to heart. Because if there's anything more exhilarating than jet skiing, it's airing out your emotional baggage by the water's edge. Lexi, being the ever compassionate friend, notices Danielle's mood hasn't improved. She asks the question that's clearly been on everyone's mind, are you scared of getting into a new relationship? Oh, Muhammad, the gift that keeps on giving. Remember him? The guy who decided to spice up his breakup with some classic parting shots about Danielle's personal hygiene? If you missed it, Muhammad went full drama king and let the world know exactly why he wasn't keen on being intimate. Spoiler, it wasn't because he's shy. It was because apparently Danielle's down there had all the appeal of a dumpster fire. And yes, those words are still echoing through Danielle's self-esteem like a broken record. No woman should have to hear those kind of words coming from your spouse. Back to the beach, where Danielle's self-worth seems to be doing laps in the ocean, Lexi tries to play therapist. It's been three years, she says, as if time alone should magically erase emotional scars. News flash time doesn't heal all wounds, especially when you're dealing with verbal shrapnel. Danielle's struggle to get over Muhammad's cruel comments is like trying to get rid of a tattoo with a band-aid. If I were you, I would have a conversation with Muhammad about how you feel and how much yeah. it, it hurt you. I mean, because that really hurt me. It did. <laughs> Danielle's internal monologue must be something like this, why can't I just get over this? I mean, it's not like Muhammad's words were a grenade to my self-esteem. Oh wait, they were seriously. Who needs a therapist when you have friends like Lexi who suggest that maybe a day at the beach will fix your broken heart? In order to move forward all the way, I need this last apology from Muhammad. I need him to say what he did was wrong. And now the piece de resistance Danielle decides to video call Muhammad because nothing says I'm over it like dialing up your ex and asking for an emotional refund. Um, ever since you have said those words, it took a part of me away. Muhammad's rocking a gaming headset, which is, of course, the height of fashion for dealing with deep emotional conversations. Clearly, he's preparing for a heated debate about why Danielle's issues are less important than his latest gaming achievements. If he isn't ready to apologize, I will be devastated and I probably will cut off all ties with him. Hold on to your hats, Muhammad actually apologizes. In what can only be described as a rare celestial event, he admits he was wrong. You also have to apologize for the stuff that you said too. Because you said so much about me. His apology is as heartfelt as a discount card from a two-star hotel. He acknowledges he went too far. But let's be real, his words were more than just a little too far. They were a full-blown, high-speed train wreck. It's like you made me say this stuff. Because I was hesitating. I don't want to talk about this kind of stuff. You started talking about it. You should have just said, okay, I don't want to talk about this, and I would never say it. Danielle's friends, ever the supportive audience, cheer as if Muhammad has just pulled off a miraculous act of heroism. Of course, I regret saying this things because when someone gets mad, you just say anything to make the other person feel hurt and I regret it. Sorry for saying that. But let's not kid ourselves as apology is less of a redemption arc and more of a last minute attempt to salvage some dignity. 
The friends are ready to pounce at the slightest hint of insincerity, and judging by the tension, you'd think Muhammad was about to reveal the secret to eternal youth or the cure for world hunger. She's the only person that she did like, a lot of good stuff to me. Even even with all the fights, all the it's nasty the stuff, she did a lot of good stuff to me, okay? And she's a good person. This is the truth. Muhammad, in his infinite wisdom, explains that his comments were a product of frustration and anger. He admits to being a bit of a jerk, but hey, who isn't? His apology comes with a side of I didn't mean it, which is a course. The universal get out of jail free card. She's a hustler. She's been by herself raising four kids. And if we put all the drama stuff aside, I respect her as a person. He tries to put the blame on Danielle for bringing up the issues in the first place. Classic move blame the person you hurt for the fact that you hurt them. This apology it means the world to me. I have kept this bottled up for years since he has said it. Danielle's response is a cocktail of relief mixed with doubt. She's thrilled to hear an apology, but the emotional scars run deep. This isn't just about hearing I'm sorry, it's about confronting a painful chapter that's been festering like an old wound. It feels good to get it off my chest, and I feel relieved that he understands what he did was wrong. Muhammad's apology might be a step forward, but it's hardly the end of Danielle's emotional journey. Okay, later. Bye. Bye. So did Muhammad's apology finally give Danielle the closure she's been craving? Or is this just another episode in her long-running drama series? Will she ever fully recover from the emotional wreckage Muhammad left in his wake? Only time will tell. But if you want to stay updated on every twist and turn in Danielle's life and trust me, there will be more make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to EZ Facts Buzz. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, reality might be stranger than fiction, but we're here to bring you the best of both. Until next time, keep buzzing.